Hi everybody. Um, today I just start a screencast series, a little one with um, probably two uh, parts inside the series. This is part one, the smaller one, which uh, will tell you more about uh, setup of PHP tools for Visual Studio 2013. Uh, first of all, what is PHP tools? Um, PHP tools comes from a vendor from Czechoslovakia and um, this vendor is named DevSense, here you see the web page and they have mm, some t uh, products, PHP tools is one of them, here you can see it and it's just um, uh, mainly the integration of uh, the avail availability of PHP development into Visual Studio. I'll tell you more about this in the larger screencast. Right now it's just about setting all this stuff up because um, some of you will know that setting up a uh, functional correct uh, environment for PHP development on Windows is uh, no, sometimes a little bit tricky. Some guys use XAMPP, uh, some guys uh, use IIS and um, it's hard to set up. Now DevSense make it, makes this easier for us. First of all uh, getting PHP tools itself is very easy because you go to extensions and updates in Visual Studio, you go online and you will search for PHP. So we see that they integrated PHP tools into the uh, VSIX um, format and now we can just download it. it takes a few seconds because it's uh, well, it's not too large but it's evolving it's getting bigger uh, which is very good now it's just the normal process of installing extensions and we restart the Visual Studio and now um, it'll, it'll come up with a dialogue asking us for providing a license key uh, just a second, because PHP Tools is not for free. It's um, mainly you get uh, with installing it, you get the evaluation. Um, it's just uh, not so expensive. Um, for private use, you uh, come up with uh, I think seventy nine dollars right now, uh, and for for one year of PHP Tools and the. Um, the renewal will uh, be about 49 bucks and that's it. Now for the purposes of this um, screencast it's okay to say begin trial and to close this window because the trial is functional um, complete. Okay, now the good thing, the first good thing is when we hit find new project we get a new element inside the templates tree system is a little bit slow right now. No, yes, PHP is a new template section and you just have one option to take PHP web project. I just leave everything here in default so just go ahead and it'll create a um, very simple but um, no functional template. Uh, you see that it's using the solution format of Visual Studio. You have a solution, you can build up PHP projects with multiple layers, things like that, and it's coming up with a nice Echo Hello World. And now what's, what's really cool is what happens when we hit a 5 the first time, because just for the context, we just did nothing else to uh, bring up PHP to our machine, to um, bring up some sort of web server. Here's, uh, this is a very simple machine uh, with Windows 8.1 and it's uh, and there's set up nothing. Now what happens? If I have a 5, PHP Tools brings us an assistant which says, hey, I can't find any PHP installation, should I do it for you automatically? We say yes because um, we would use this options if we know, oh, there's an web server somewhere using PHP somewhere in the department uh, or on this and that machine. We don't have it so we use this automatically and now what happens is that the PowerShell scripts comes into place which we can see here and it's using web, pl web platform installer um, and it's scripting web platform installer actually for getting PHP, for getting X debug or xdebug for PHP, IS Express modules, everything like that. 
and it's doing everything automatically which is in fact very good because um, uh, if it um, because of the point that it uses PHP tools um, no web platform installer uh, sorry for this um, it's possible for us to just update those packages using the same infrastructure uh, WPI um, now just uh, let him do his work so now he's ready he says installation succeeded okay now we have to hit a 5 one more time and that's it you see here in the back okay we have to allow, allow this access maybe just one no that's it and it's set up completely so what we've seen here is first of all here's a process a PHP debugger which hooks up to X debug um, what's also interesting is one folder on file system it's C then the program files folder IS Express and here you have in folder PHP and everything will sit here uh, for instance the PHP any which is very important but it's not covered by this screen screencast there's nothing you how to say uh, magic stuff going on uh, it's magic by the way uh, that it's possible to set up PHP with I don't know few mouse clicks but it works and now we have um, complete debugger support we just hit a breakpoint here and go uh, into our project and have F5 and it will go into the session and we have everything what we need. That's just uh, part one. Um, set up PHP tools. One more thing. Uh, during the setup um, it can be that it claims the setup claims uh, that it needs to restart the computer. This will happen if um, mainly will happen if you have pending updates um, of your Windows update um, waiting for restarting the system. So my advice is just go to Windows updates uh, on your machine before you uh, you know uh, you run the script the first time and make sure that all Windows or system updates are installed. So but um, even if you uh, go ahead and you will leave the restart uh, to the PHP script everything will work after the restart. It's a very cool done and uh, congratulations to DevSense that's cool. Okay uh, we go ahead to the next to the next screencast covering uh, some more details on the uh, PHP programming and debugging itself so hopefully this was useful for you. Bye.